Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you a plugin that I use all the time in my little home studio that I've got. It's called Addictive Drums. Um, so this is a, uh, an instrument that uh, is basically the backbone to what I do. Um, so I'll give you a quick look at the actual plugin itself and then what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you how to actually uh, put different tracks in here, so audio tracks, and record the uh, MIDI data into these tracks. So then you'll have you know individual um, tracks that you can edit, say with the EQ, compression, um, and when you do record it this way, it actually prints as a, uh, an audio file. Um, so let's go ahead and have a quick look at the interface. Um, at the, up the top here you'll see that um, I've got 90s rock, this is uh, where you load your different kits. Um, so as I said you've got the 90s rock kit and uh, you can chop sound each drum from this page just to hear what it sounds like. Um, so it's touch sensitive so at the bottom it's very soft and go up and it gets louder. Okay, so also we've got here the uh, main controls for each drum. Uh, we won't really play with those, as I said, we're going to print it to a, an audio track and then edit it from there. Um, but yeah, you've got your main fader uh, effects and whatnot here, mute, solo, uh, phase, and this little button which I'll show a bit later on. Uh, so we've got all of our drums plus overheads, room, bus and master. Okay, so moving on to the next page, we've got the edit page. Again, I'm not really going to go into much here because uh, I'm going to do all of my editing uh, in the individual tracks. Um, so, But anyways, we've got uh, things like mic placement, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, and just a whole bunch of other things like pitch, volume, uh, your EQ, and this is already set up from the actual preset. Uh, so I'll leave it how it is. Uh, coming to here, you've got your effects, so you've got your different types of reverb, uh, plate, ambience, room, and hall. Uh, got an EQ uh, pan, so we still will leave everything as it is. Okay, moving on again. This is uh, your beats page, uh, and what I normally do is uh, just try and find something I can uh, play along to to get just a nice backing rhythm to, you know, put a guitar track to. So you click on any beat, hit the play button, and audition the uh, beat itself. Now you can actually, once you click play, you can just continue to click and uh, listen to what each one sounds like without having to, you know, play, choose, play. So I'll show you that quickly. Oh, I like that one. So once you've picked a beat, all you need to do is uh, click and drag into your session. Uh, so this is uh, an instrument track I've got in Pro Tools 8. Okay, so we'll just get rid of that for a minute. And listen to this in Pro Tools. Okay, so we'll duplicate that a few times. Okay, so now that we've got that in there, we need to insert some new tracks. So. Um, I'll just do a couple to give you a general idea. Uh, so we'll just say five mono audio tracks create. Okay, so what we need to do now is go to the input, uh, go to plugin, addictive drums, and you'll see here we have all the different drum mics that were in the addictive drums plugin. So for the first one, we'll go with the kick, and the second one, we'll go to the snare and so on. Now as I said I'm only going to show you a couple just to give you the idea. 
um, but you can add more tracks and continue um, with the rest of the uh, mics. Okay, so now I've got that. If we record arm knees, um, now nothing will happen when you hit record as it is. What we have to do is go into Addictive Drums. Now, on just go back in the kit page because it's easier to navigate, I think, from this bit. These ones down here that I was talking about, you need to actually turn those on. And what that does is it actually sends the signal from here to the inputs where you assigned them here. Okay. Now, if you was to do all of these mics and the overheads and the rooms, you would continue along and do the same thing with all of them. Okay, so now we're ready to record, we're armed, um, so we'll go ahead and hit record and we'll see what happens. Okay, cool. So we'll just get rid of that for a minute. Okay, uh, as you can see, the um, the cowbell and the tom didn't have any anything in it, so we can basically clean those up, get rid of them. But if we now solo what we have recorded and have a listen. Okay, now you'll notice that sounded a little bit more thin than the original, and it's because obviously we don't have the room mics and things like that. So um, when you do it, record the whole kit. Um, so from now, we can go in and insert plugins such as an EQ, um, uh, a compressor, and basically then you're free to go along and edit these as you like and um, you can edit the pan and everything like that from your actual mix and um, I think that's really cool because when you come into your mix window uh, you see everything that's here But and um, it's a good idea to go in and rename all of these tracks to suit um, to show what they are basically um, and then you can go ahead and uh, edit these as you like. Um, if you're using a control surface, uh, fantastic. Um, this will be absolutely perfect for you. Okay, so go back and uh, we'll just solo this kick. Have a listen. So you're yeah, adding compression. And yeah, it's the same thing with all of these tracks. So that's how you do it. That's basically very easy, easy stuff. And uh, so thanks for watching my video. And uh, I'll catch up with you all later. Bye.